Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an oil service on a 2020 BMW 430i with the B48 engine. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is remove the engine uh, cover here to access the oil filter, which is back here in the driver's side of the engine bay. Just pull up on it, set it to the side. To access the oil filter, you're first going to want to pull off this trim panel right here. It just pops up. Next, unclip the harness that's right here on top of the intake manifold and the harness comes down to this piece right here. It slides into a, the DME over here on the left. You kind of just move it to the side. And then there's your oil filter. To release the oil filter, you're gonna need a uh, 27 millimeter socket and then however you wanna get on top of the filter. I have a uh, about a six to eight inch extension and a swivel. You'll just wanna Break the filter loose, back it out of the housing. Housing. Now the reason we're doing this before we drain the oil is with the oil filter installed, it keeps oil inside the, uh, the housing there. And you, in order to get as much of the oil as possible, you wanna release the filter before you drain the oil. So this allows the oil that's in the housing to drain back into the oil pan. Once you've got the filter all the way released, you're going to take a shop towel and kind of place it next to the filter. Pull the filter out of the housing and then slide the rag underneath the filter to catch any oil residue. So we have our oil filter here. In order to replace it, you'll want to remove the cartridge. Just grab it and kind of give it a twist and pull. Then you'll want to take the, remove the o-ring you're going to want to find the there's a little cutout you can slide a pick in kind of grab the o-ring on the back side with your fingers to prevent it flying off and remove it next you'll want to remove the filter from the uh, container that you got it in this is a new filter you'll get an o-ring and then a crush washer for the drain bolt First thing I'd like to do is take the new filter and go ahead and install that. Make sure it's kind of almost snaps into place. You know, remove your O-ring and install it onto the canister cap all the way into this bottom groove. Then you can go ahead and reinstall the filter. Start threading it in by hand. Then you can take your 3 8 ratchet and socket and tighten it all the way down. And then you'll just want to take some brake clean and give the area a quick spray just to get any oil residue that was in the area off. And you can relocate your harness, reinstall your trim cover. And that completes the oil filter replacement. Now we can go ahead and remove the oil fill cap. It's located right here in the center of the engine. Just want to set it to the side. We've got the vehicle supported on the lift now. We're ready to go ahead and drain the oil. Just want to position your drain bucket underneath the vehicle. The oil drain bolt's right beneath this cover right here. You can simply just pull it Kind of push it to the side. Go ahead and raise your drain bucket. You're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket to release the drain bolt. Break it loose with the breaker with the ratchet and then spin the rest out by hand. And let the oil drain into the bucket. Once 
once oil gets to this point where it's a very slow drain, more or less dripping, that's how you know you have basically ready to reinstall the drain bolt. So yeah, once you pull the drain bolt, just let it drain for about five minutes. And that should be good enough. So just wanna retrieve your old drain bolt. Make sure you take the previous crush washer off. Install the new crush washer. Thread it in by hand. Once it bottoms out, go ahead and take your 17 millimeter socket and ratchet. And once it comes flush with the bottom of the oil pan, just give it another like quarter turn. And that's really all you need. You can just grab a rag, wipe off any of the oil residue, and reinstall the cover. And that completes the oil draining process. So now that we have the oil filter replaced and the oil drained, we can now go ahead and add the engine oil. First, you're gonna grab a funnel and install it into the oil fill area. These engines take 5.3 liters or 5.7 quarts of 0W20, full synthetic. We already have our oil pre-filled and measured out here. So now we'll just go ahead and add the oil. Done adding the oil. Go ahead and remove the oil fill funnel. Reinstall the cap. And then we'll just go ahead and take a rag and clean up the area. Whoever did the last oil change on this vehicle left a little bit of a mess up here. So we'll just leave it better than we found it. Once the area is cleaned up, we can go ahead and grab the engine cover. To reinstall the cover, just line it up with the oil fill cap basically. Give it a firm push down and it's reinstalled. Now we can go ahead and do the oil light service light reset. Okay, we've now made our way inside the vehicle. We're going to do the oil light reset procedure in order to do that. Just go ahead, have the key inside the car, push the start stop button twice. See all the lights on the dash? come on the vehicle. This vehicle is getting serviced right now. So there's like a couple malfunctions. Once all the other lights go off and the check engine light remains, you can go ahead and push the button down in the bottom left center, bottom left portion of the cluster. Once all the check control messages clear out, then you can go ahead and push the button at the left bottom portion of the instrument cluster. You're gonna push and hold it, and you'll see the trip meter zero out and then come back. That's how you know you did it correctly. Once the service comes up, you can let go, push and hold again. It's gonna say reset question mark, let go, push and hold again. And then once the bar pops up and reset, starts resetting, you can let go. That is how you perform an oil light reset on most F series BMWs. This concludes our service episode on a 2020 BMW 430i. Hope you found this information helpful. Please subscribe to the channel for more content and we'll see you on the next one.